Hello, my name is Stan Dierks, a Belgian mathematician working at the University of Antwerp. And I'm making this video um, to respond to the call of Matt Parker and some other YouTube mathematicians to declare our love to our mega fev number, being our favorite number bigger than a million. So let's start with looking at the number pi and its decimal expansion. Uh, so it is 3.14159 and so on. And so on. I've only noted a couple of digits. Of course, it goes on forever. Uh, but those are enough uh, to make my point. I'm interested in numbers appearing in the decimal expansion of pi. I'm, I'm ignoring the three points. I'm starting to look at the digits after the decimal point, yeah, the real decimal expansion of pi. And I'm interested in numbers appearing multiple times in this decimal expansion. It's conjectured, not proven yet, that every possible number appears at least once in the decimal expansion of pi, but it's not proven yet. Um, but let's look at numbers with one digit. We know, of course, um, those are the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, or 0. It's also a, a one-digit number. And let's look at the first number, the first one-digit number, appearing once, once. Now, it's, of course, the 1. We see it here. The 1 is the first digit to appear once after the decimal point, obviously. No rocket science. If you want to look for the first digit appearing twice, we see after the one there's a four and then another one. So the one is also the first one digit number to appear twice in the decimal expansion of pi. But then it changes. It changes because if we were looking for three appearances, we see the following, and I'll check it in green. We have a 5 over here, a 5 over here, and a 5 over here. In the first 10 digits of pi, the number 5 is appearing three times, and that's the first one to appear three times. And we can go on to have a four time appearance of a one digit number. Um, we'll have to look a little bit further, but if you look closely, we have a four over here, we have a four over here, but those are not the numbers we're looking for. They appear here and here as well, but the nine is appearing three times, okay, but then it takes until here for a fourth time. If we look at the number three, here, 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 and here. That will be the first time to appear four times. And we can go on. Okay. Let's look at numbers with two digits. Now, the first is 14. Now, obviously, again, starting at the first position after the decimal point, that's, uh, that's obvious. The first one to appear two times, we'll have to look for it. Um, and you can see that we have 26 over here and 26 over here. Yeah, And that's the first one appearing two times. You can check it. Um, there's no other two-digit number appearing twice before 26 does. Yeah. And also the 
first one to appear three times of two digits we can find in this part of pi because well, maybe in orange um, we have the number 93 over here yeah we have the number 93 over here and we have the number 93 over here broken over the line but still it is there and that's the first one appearing three times the first two digit two digit number appearing three times again you can go on look for the one appearing four times the first one appearing five times and so on but we can again increase our number of digits three digits again starting at the first place 141 and also the second one in the row so the three digit number first three digit number appearing twice can be found in this little piece of pie it is 592 we can find it here and we can find it here okay that's the one we need over here. So this is the ID I'm exploring and we can make a table. We can make a table with, um, with the number of digits on the top and with the uh, number of appearances on the bottom and if we make this table so we have number of digits one two three four five six seven and of course you can go on and the number of appearances once twice three times four times And if you make this table, of course, I did not look for them by hand. I wrote a little computer program for this. Um, if we fill in this table, it turns out to be this. So we already found these numbers. It appears that three is also the first to appear five times, six times, and seven times. Then it changes to nine. Um, for a certain amount of time, it will change afterwards again. Two digit numbers are 14, 26, 93. We already discovered. Then 62, 82, 28, 28, and so on. Three digit numbers. We already found two of them. It appears the first three digit number to appear three times would be 446. Then we have 117, 105, 019, watch out, it's a, we consider it this a three digit number, of course, if we just read it out loud, it would be 19, which had two digits, but because we're looking for certain substrings of a certain length, yeah, the leading zeros are taken into account, and 381 and so on, four digits. Of course, the first one is all, always the same, starting at the first place after the decimal point. Here, another leading digit. Uh, this one is a funny one. It's 9999. Uh, you might know that around place 762 in the decimal, this expansion of pi, there are six subsequent nines in the digits. So that explains why 9999 is the first four digit number appearing three times. Then we have 2796 and so on and so on. Here again, the first five digits. And so on. I'm interested mainly in the diagonal. Yeah. So the first 
five digit number appearing five times turns out to be 86,538. Six numbers, six digit number appearing six times is 872117. And the first seven digit number appearing seven times in the digits of pi would be 1,591,292. Yeah, of course, we can fill in all the other empty spots in the table as well. But since the question was, what is your favorite number bigger than a million? The answer for me is 1,591,292 being the first seven digit number, the first number bigger than a million, appearing seven times in the digits of pi. And maybe I can add a little request because I already told you I wrote a small computer program to find this table to, to discover these numbers, but I'm a mathematician, I'm not a, I'm not a, I'm not a programmer. I wrote it in, in MATLAB with some uh, terrible efficiency results uh, to find uh, this seven digit number I think it, it took me for a, almost an hour of computing time um, which could be a lot faster I think you'll need approximately three and a half million a little bit more digits of pi to find the seventh appearance um, you can find this this row by the way on the OAIS um, it's sequence 331881 I already discovered the eighth um, the eighth number in the row so the first eight digit number appearing eight times yeah um, but that's where it, it stops for me my computer skills are limited and my computer resources are limited as well so I could not find more numbers to to continue this sequence so that's where my little request is entering this video. If there's anyone there who wants to help me out, who wants to um, program this, well, for instance, in Python or I, I don't know, um, which better and faster results, um, you can contact me. Um, I can share with you my MATLAB code if you want, but I don't think that would be very helpful. Um, but it would be nice to, to continue the search for uh, more numbers in this sequence to find the first nine digit number appearing nine times in pi and so on and so on. So contact me if you want to help me and uh, share your own mega fave number on YouTube if you haven't already.